Hello, I wanted to play a game that I got called Tales from the Borderlands. I have no idea what this is about. I saw this like in the Amazon store. No, it was like the Twitch store where they would give out free games from time to time. And this was one of them. So I decided to get it and play it. Start episode one. Oh. This game series adapts to the choices you make, and is tailored by how you play. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less, uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Fiona? What, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? Oh! This game is starting off kind of crazy. Um, who are you? So, who are you? I ask the questions. Okay, then, do you mind asking yourself who you are? Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look. Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. He pointed that. I'm not a patient person. He pointed that so right at Just like start that. talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh. From the beginning. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. And <laughs> Everyone I did. To be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh, but hey, here we Which are. Which resulted in a company overflowing. With assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. The 
took some time to fit in. What was that gesture? But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. It's not about money, Vaughn. Gotta get that it's about respect. about the respect it gets you. Yeah, you know who talks like that? Poor people that no one likes. Respect, it's nice, you know? But it's not nicer than a summer home on Eden 7. Get your priorities straight. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mind deal we put together. Uh, let's think. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Someone might have tried to put a... Uh, Blaze Eyebrow? Hmm. No, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Looks like a douchebag. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why. Okay, is that who I think it is? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. Joe Swanson from Family Guy. I know that voice. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better. At least for me. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now. What? I was supposed to get And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. No, I well, want your that's job. That's a relief. Because <laughs> I thought this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow, I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh, Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I guess I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I 
mean I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. I can't believe he killed Ugh. this man. Uh. Why do the biggest scumbags always have the best view? Three years sucking yeah, up to the guy. Yeah, no, but... Out the window. <sighs> that should be me. Do you want the money or not? Unless... vasquez -y. It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Yes. Yeah, that's what we had before. Indoors. It's a working day, Put August. And I just got this promotion. It is rivaled only by its potential to kill you within minutes of setting foot on its surface. No, nope. Currently viewing one. Uh, look, look, five. look, are you going? <laughs> Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine, just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say out of your mouth. Damn it! Ah, oh, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. You will let my promotion. We were talking. <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion. All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one: humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm going to make you assistant vice janitor. What? what? No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Well, this man is a whole. Report to Sewage guy. Scout 23. Effective immediately. He drew that out. Assistant vice. You better get an eye janitor. installed in the back of your head. Because. You, you never know when I could be creeping up behind you. I'm your boss, Reese. Get used to that. This is what I'm talking about when I say humility. That was lesson number two. Don't make lesson number three about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up. I'm gonna get You're dismissed, man. Reese. I am going to get this man when I have the chance. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. No. No, no. This can't be happening. I'm finished, Bob. I'm finished. You know this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that bad yet. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash Vasquez duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. <laughs> Vasquez screwed me out of the promotion. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. 
Holy crap. So does that mean you're not buying? What? Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He, he will just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We're gonna ruin his career. Yeah. How do you plan on doing that? Yeah. Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. A vault key? Uh-huh. And I'm sure he promised a die period. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a friggin' vault key! I mean, what are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, 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 whoa. hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. I'll buy Richter was you an that asshole, lunch. and his family are assholes. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine, but you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... If you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. 